Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. That's right, it is Throw Back Thursday. And on this day, I like to dig deeper to the crates, go back to the days of yesteryear, and play you some classic hits. Now, Right before I got started tonight, I went to look at my comments, and I noticed that I had a comment from Shadow Man. <laughs> and he was asking me to do the song by the Jackson 5 called Body Language. Not to be confused with the song that they did under the moniker of the Jacksons called Body. my shit right there man i love that song because it's off the victory album i went and saw the jacksons and they performed this song so i i love this song but uh the video that i found for this came from the carol burnett show i think it's either 1975 or 1976 and that is a pivotal year because 1975 the jacksons were still in motown and then 1976 they were now on epic records and jermaine had left so in the video you're going to see them performing with vicky lawrence and if you're not familiar with vicky lawrence she had a number one hit uh in the united states and that song was called the night that the lights went out in georgia that's the night that the lights went out in georgia that's the night that they hung an innocent man well don't trust your soul and old backwoods southern lawyer cause the judge in the town's got blood stains on his head and I'll move over here so you can see this. That's what she did on the charts with this song. And that's pretty good. That's actually really good. Number one in Canada and number one on the Billboard Hot 100. That's phenomenal. So the other thing, if you're not familiar, like, well, who, who the heck is Vicky Lawrence? Yeah. So if you never watched the Carol Burnett show, Vicki Lawrence was the youngest member on the Carol Burnett show, and she was the only member besides Carol Burnett that was there for all 11 years. Now, with her being the youngest character, that also made it kind of weird, but also funny, that she ended up being playing a character that was called Mama on Mama's Family. So that character is kind of old. So that's what I'm going to play. Now, I didn't find body language on any charts anywhere. Uh, and I do you know, apologize. Maybe the song never charted. Uh, it is one of those kind of, in my mind, a little obscure. I have seen this video before, but I found it by accident. I think in looking for the song body. But, you know, I wanted to make sure because... But, you know, Shadow I consider a good friend. You know, we talk a lot on the telephone. And, you know, basically I can talk to him about my health and how I go to the doctors. And basically, even though the doctors might not tell me everything is good, I basically said, Does my cack still work? So, as long as that works, I'm fine. But, you know, I want to say to Shadow, Play it a play up him to pimp, I appreciate it. You're a good dude. And I also want to give a shout out to Jet, and he continues to amaze me. Today, I'm going to be doing Joe Cocker's version of With a Little Help from My Friends. And somehow, I have some more of A Little Help from My Friends. Whoop, whoop. 
Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. And, you know, in a way, this is what I actually thought that uh, YouTube was going to be all about, you know, a sort of friendship or sort of helping each other out, not asking anything of anybody else, like, hey, can you do this for me and and I'll do this for you? No, it's just uh, kind of like, you know, hey, I saw you, I'm interested in what you're doing, and, you know, I'm, I, I'm fully supporting what you're doing, and you evidently are fully supporting what I'm doing, and I often wonder, like, with other reactors, like, do other reactors see my channel as much as I see their channel, you know, because I have, have people on my subscription, you know, that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and I'm wondering, does little old me, you know, get through to you? And if you are a reactor that has, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of reactors and you see me, leave a comment down below. I would really like to, you know, hear from you and see that you, I have your support. So that's basically it. Jet, you're a cool dude and I, I want you to keep it up and you know for this particular uh video i will give a suggestion on camera and i would say i want you to play some death leopard and i want you to play uh, i just did a video for rock of ages and i would love to see you play rock of ages yeah so there you go let's see what you do you got this man so, if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because we're trying to do at least 10 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is the Jackson 5 and Body Language. Read some body language. Hell yeah.
right, so that was body language. So I wonder if that is as fun to do as it is to watch, because that was thoroughly entertaining. You know, probably, probably the premise was like, here's this white girl and, you know, with these black guys and they're doing disco or soul or whatever and at first she seems kind of awkward but then she gets it and she's getting to the groom they're doing the bump and all the other kind of dance moves from the day and it's just really really fun and i guess that's what the carol burnett show was about was having fun almost at all times and you know the jacksons were were pros by that time because they had their own tv show uh variety tv show as well as their own cartoon as well as they were you know thrust into stardom you know you know being in front of the camera and being able to do all these things at the drop of a dime and they you know they were actors you know in a way as well as entertainers uh, as well as you know good singers and in this song it seemed like marlon was doing uh it was marlon and michael uh doing the lead vocals on this marlon more than michael which is oddly you know different but you know marlon took over the spot uh or no randy took over when jermaine left and marlon kind of got promoted as the the second lead singer so that's always good also what i forgot to say is that when the song body language kind of breaks down it's the breakdown is war um you know war what is it good for let me show your goofy ass how to do this what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. You know, that's the breakdown of this song, and it does it a couple of times. So if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.